What's up guys, it's Rasim from RossmoreTech.com. Today I'm actually gonna review this right here. This is the Latte Panda right here, right next to it. This is the Raspberry Pi 3. Can you see it? Is it beautiful? Can you see it? <laughs> Just kidding guys. Now, hopefully you guys like my shirt. I'm repping uh, Goku right here, can you see it? I got the new uh, artwork in the back. I'm buying a lot of like Dragon Ball Z uh, merchandise, especially like artwork, posters, figures and stuff like that. I found this cool shirt in a store nearby here. And I loved it, so I had to pick it up. So I love this uh, Goku orange. So I love this shirt. I'm glad I brought it. Now, right here in front of me, I have the Latte Panda. I did an unboxing video of this about a week ago. I unboxed it, showed you everything that's in the box. Now, as you can see, they're pretty much the same size. This is a little bit bigger. Uh, guys, you know I did a lot of uh, Raspberry Pi content, especially Raspberry Pi 3, where I clustered all of them. This here is like the killer of the Raspberry Pi. It's a lot more pricier than the Raspberry Pi. You guys know I love Raspberry Pis. I love the Raspberry Pi 3. I did a lot of content using Raspberry Pis. A lot of you guys found me and subscribed because of my Raspberry Pi content. So I love single board computers. So when I found out about the Latte Panda, I had to reach out to them and they sent me a review sample and I'm really grateful for that. So today we're gonna review it. I'm gonna power it up and we're going to see how it compares to the Raspberry Pi 3. All right guys, right in front of me here, I have the Latte Panda on the left and the Raspberry Pi 3 on the right. As you can see, they have similar footprint, but the Latte Panda is just a little bit wider. Now let's talk about the CPU. The Latte Panda on the left is sporting a beastly CPU. It's an Intel Cherry Trail Z8006 quad core processor that can boost up to 1.8 gigahertz. Yes, it could boost up to 1.8 gigahertz, that's beastly. Now the Raspberry Pi on the right, it's a 1.2 gigahertz, 64 bit quad core, ARM V8 CPU, it can boost up to 1.2 gigahertz. Now the Latte Panda beats out the Raspberry Pi 3 and CPU power. Now the Latte Panda on the left and the Raspberry Pi on the right both have Wi-Fi. So if you guys want to use that Wi-Fi connectivity, you have that option. And they both have Bluetooth 4.0 connectivity. So if you guys want to connect your Bluetooth devices, you can. Now let's talk about the RAM. Now the Latte Panda on the left has two versions. It has a two gigabyte and a four gigabyte. I have the two gigabyte version. But it's amazing that a single board computer can have four gigabytes of RAM. Now the Raspberry Pi 3 on the right only has one gigabyte of RAM. So hopefully the Raspberry Pi 4 will have some more. Now let's talk about USB connectivity. Latte Panda on the left, I'm just gonna flip this over so you can see it. The Latte Panda on the left has two USB 2.0 ports and one USB 3.0 port. That's amazing, so if you guys wanna use your high-speed uh, storage devices or whatever USB 3.0 device you have, you can do it on the Latte Panda. Now let's flip over the Raspberry Pi here. Now the Raspberry Pi has four USB 2.0 ports, so it does not have a USB 3.0 port, that's a bummer. Maybe the newer version of the Raspberry Pi in the future will, but as of today, the Raspberry Pi 3 only has USB 2.0 connectivity. Now let's talk about the GPIO support. The Latte Panda on the left does not lack any GPIO support whatsoever. On the top here, this is an actual microcontroller for Arduino and it's built into the Latte Panda. And these are the Arduino's uh, GPIO headers. So the Latte Panda has a built-in Arduino. Isn't that freaking amazing? On the bottom here, this is the six GPIO pins for the Intel CPU. So you can also access the Intel CPU's GPIO pins. So if you guys wanna build a project using the Intel CPU and, and use its GPIO pins, that is an option. On the right here, these are the plug and play connectors for the Arduino sensor. So if you wanna connect the Arduino sensor, you would plug it in right here. Now they both have built in ethernet. Let me just flip over the Latte Panda here. So as you can see, the Latte Panda has a ethernet port and so does the Raspberry Pi 3. So you don't need to use your Wi-Fi if you don't want to. You can connect an ethernet cable to both devices and it will work fine. Well, let's talk about storage. The Latte Panda has built in storage. It has built-in flash memory. There's two versions. There's the 32 gigabyte and the 64 gigabyte. I have the 32 gigabyte and it comes pre-installed with Windows 10. So if you guys want to just plug it in right away and start uh, messing around with it, it has pre-built legit Windows 10, not, not any other version other than the real version you would use on your desktop. So now there are, again, there are two versions, the 32 or the 64, I have the 32. That's awesome that they have built-in storage and uh, they pre-install your operating system with that built-in storage. And the Raspberry Pi does not have any built-in storage whatsoever. Now, the only storage on a Raspberry Pi 3 right now, it's, it's this right here. This is the micro SD card. And uh, this is the only way you can store things on your Raspberry Pi. You should also be able to use the USB 2.0 ports for like installing a flash drive, but I would recommend just using the SD card if you wanna store things. Now, let's talk about HDMI. I'm gonna flip this over here. The Latte Panda has a built-in HDMI connector right there, so you can connect the Latte Panda to a HD monitor. And the Raspberry Pi 3 also has a HDMI connector right here, as you can see. 
You can also connect this to a uh, HD monitor. So the Raspberry Pi 3 also can play 1083 video without a problem. All right, so the Latte panel on the left has a composite port here, composite uh, video and a 3.5 uh, jack here. It's a combo, so you can connect your uh, composite video or audio sources directly to this plug here. And the Raspberry Pi 3 also has the same port on the side here. It's a composite video slash uh, audio port. I think again, 3.5 uh, for the audio and it's a composite video port as well. So if you guys want that option, you have that option. Now, finally, I wanna talk about the power. How do we power these devices? Let's start off with the Latte Panda. So right over here is a micro USB connector. That's how you power the Latte Panda. You need five volts and two amps to power the Latte Panda. Now the Raspberry Pi 3 also has the same connector here and you also need five volts, two amps to power the Raspberry Pi 3. For the Latte Panda, I, I read on the website, they recommend something like a iPad uh, power brick to, to power the Latte Panda. If you have an iPad, you can use the iPad power brick to power it. It should work fine, but you do need two, two amps. It has to be five volt, two amp. If it's not five volt and two amps, it won't work properly. All right guys, so I connected everything that I need to connect to power up the Latte Panda. I got the ethernet cable connected right here to the ethernet port. I got a, a keyboard and mouse connected to a USB port here. And I got the HDMI cable here connected to a monitor. This here is a power reset switch. Once I hit this button, it should start the Latte Panda. All right guys, so I hit the power button and Windows 10 loaded on the Latte Panda. Now, uh, before this clip, before I showed you this here, I installed uh, Camtasia Studio 8. That's how I'm able to capture the screen so I can do this demonstration. And yeah, this is Windows 10 on the Latte Panda. Let's click on the start menu. As you can see, this is your normal desktop Windows 10 start menu here. Let's go to uh, settings here, just so you can see how it looks. We got settings here. Right click here. Let's go to, to uh, system. And as you can see, official Windows 10 installed on this right here. And under system, it says for processor Intel Atom X5 Z8 8300, sorry, CPU at 1.44 gigahertz, but it boosts up to 1.8 gigahertz. It has two gigabytes of RAM. There is a four gigabyte version if you want it. And uh, system type here, it's a 32-bit operating system, but the processor is a 64-bit processor. So proof right there that, and as you can see, this is the Latte Panda logo, proof that this is the actual Windows 10 uh, installation on the Latte Panda. It's pretty impressive that I can install Camtasia Studio and record a screen right now. Camtasia Studio is known to take a lot of resources. So as you see right here, also Andrino was pre-installed. I installed Camtasia Studio, but Andrino was pre-installed when I started it. So if you guys want to mess around with the GPIO pins, remember there's a microcontroller built right onto the Latte Panda. You can mess with it with this icon here. But let's open up the web browser. I think this is Internet Edge or Microsoft Edge, whatever the hell they're calling it. I don't like it. And I think I have YouTube opened up here. So let's just maximize this. And I have a YouTube video on the queue here. So let's just see how it works. It's actually playing the video right now. Let's skip through the advertising. All right, guys, so it's actually playing the video right now. Proves that this is a actual full-blown Windows 10 computer. Single board Windows 10 computer the size of a credit card. A little bit bigger than a Raspberry Pi, not that much bigger. Has two gigabytes of RAM. You can get a four gigabyte version. It has pre-built Windows 10. It has 32 gigabytes of onboard memory, flash memory. You could get a 64 gigabyte version that has Windows 10 pre-built. That's all I have to say. So I'm just gonna close this here and minimize this. Now, before I go, I have to say one thing. Now, before this clip here, I showed you me connecting all the USB stuff, the HDMI, the power, and all that to the Latte Panda. What I forgot to do is actually connect the power to the Latte Panda. So I wanted to mention it before you guys trolled me. I figured that out once the computer didn't start. So I connected the power. So you, you guys didn't see that power cord connected in that clip. So I'm just explaining to you guys. Again, don't troll me. Again, don't troll me. Shit happens. What are you going to do? Life goes on. And that's pretty much it for this clip. All right, guys, now before I go, I want to talk to you guys for a second. Now, I see that Latte Panda we just reviewed. I will be water cooling it. Yes, same thing we did with the water-cooled Raspberry Pi 3. We're going to water cool the Latte Panda, so stay tuned for that. If you guys want to see it, 
like this video. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossbergTech.com, and thank you for watching.